Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today our theme is a key to success. Not the key. When everyone tells you that they, the key to something, I get suspect. But this is a key to success. And this comes out of Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22. One simple de declaration here. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Things fall apart. Plans don't work the way you hope they would with a lack of counsel, with a lack of outside wisdom input from other people. Right? But with many advisors, they succeed. So here's the key to failure. Don't ask anyone's opinion. Do it all on your own. You're smart enough. You're good enough. By golly, people like you and you don't need their input. Just do it on your own. And that's a pretty good a pathway to failure. But this passage says the key to success a, one of many keys, but, but in this passage, the key to success is this. Many counselors, wise input from other people. I remember early in my ministry, I worked with a guy named Ron Geshwent, a wonderful, gifted leader. And I was working with Ron Geshwent, and he pulled me aside one time, sat me down, and had a kind of a senior pastor to me, a young pastor coming into ministry, a little one of those conversations that you never forget. And he said, Kevin, you do good work. He said, but you move fast. And here's what I'm going to tell you. He said, Wherever you want to get in life and ministry, he says, you're probably going to get there. And if you go at the pace you move, you're going to get there and you're going to be alone. He says, You'll be, there'll be nobody else with you. He says, because you just move really fast. He says, you've got to slow down. You've got to invite people in. You've got to listen to other people's voices. He says, I think that any timetable you have, you should double it. It should be twice. If you think you can get it done in three months, you can get it done in three months, you'll be alone. Or you can do it in six months, get other people around you, learn from them, work as a team, collaborate and have a much better experience in ministry. And you know what? He was absolutely right. I've slowed down as much as I know how to, and I love traveling with other people. I love getting other people's input and wisdom speaking into my life, into my family, into my ministry. So my encouragement to you is that you don't travel alone, uh, that you, you make a decision to invite the counsel of other people. So I was thinking about this as I, as I was thinking about this moment with all of you on this devotional, and I thought about it as a pastor, when I did wisdom, one of the people I go to is Ken Corver. He's a pastor down in Los Angeles. I respect him. I've known him for over 30 years. If I need parenting advice, one of the people I've gone to through the years is a guy named Ben Patterson. When my boys were young, and he had, his boys were older than my sons. He was a chaplain in the area where I lived at a school called Hope College in West Michigan. And I would pick his brain on how he handled things with his son Joel or how he handled things with another one of his sons. And, and I would learn from him. That made me a better dad. I was thinking about it when I make long-term decisions for my life direction. I have a friend named Ron, and Ron Vanderpool, and Ron uh, has just got a great mind for business, for long-term planning, for thinking. Uh, he's not a pastor. He's worked in the business world his whole life, but in my major life decisions over the last 25 years, I've gone to him, and his wisdom helps give me wisdom, and I believe that God uses him to speak into my life. Do you have a team of people around you who you can go to to get counsel, to get wisdom? Because if you travel alone, you'll be alone. And if you lead alone or walk alone or make decisions alone, there's a great chance of them falling apart, of those things failing. But if you travel with other people and listen to their wisdom and ask them for their input and learn from them, it's a great key to success in any part of life. I hope you hear that wisdom from the Word of God. Let's pray together. Living God, thank you for your Word that is powerful, that's true. Help us avoid the folly of traveling alone and trusting just in our own wisdom and give us the courage to ask others for their wisdom, to discern where it's helpful and valuable, and to let that make us better people with more successful, healthy, stronger lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great day. And I always say it, if you're part of Shoreline Church, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock this coming Sunday, join us on campus, online. If you're part of another church, be a blessing in your church. Be part of the body of Christ. They need you and you need them. God bless you. Have a great day.